Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently just gone half past seven on Sunday the 8th of January 2023. I'm sitting here in my hoodie. It is very comfortable. I'm reading Smut by Alan Bennett, um, which is on course for five out of five, not got far to go. And then I'm probably going to read The Writer in Disguise, also by Alan Bennett. I've been doing some filming, some working and some editing. I'm going to go and do some more work in a bit, but I'm going to do it on my laptop so I can lie on my bed and watch Netflix. Laundry's on, you can probably hear it. That's all I got for you. Don't have much planned. Dane reads. Hello everybody, it is five past nine on Monday the 9th of January 2023. I've been being very productive all day. I had my first two calls for one of my clients this year, uh, this year uh, today. So that's been two and a half hours on Zoom. I've been reading more Alan Bennett. I finished reading Smut, which was a solid five out of five. And I'm now reading The Writer in Disguise, which has about four or five television play scripts in it. I'm um, coming up for halfway through. It's pretty good so far. Um, probably gonna be like 3.5 out of five. It's not on the level of Smut, but it is very good. And then after that, I'm probably going to read The Complete Beyond the Fringe by Alan Bennett, Peter Cook, Jonathan Miller and Dudley Moore. And then that's the last of my owned and unread Alan Bennett. Um, other than that, just cracking on, keeping on, keeping on. I did some Wii yesterday. I got two more gold medals on Wii Sports in the training. Trying to complete that at the moment. Uh, I'm seeing Shay tomorrow because it's our six month anniversary. So we're going to go out for tapas because neither of us have ever had tapas before. And it will also be my six... No, hang on. Yeah, it's our six month anniversary. It's four months of me not drinking and two years of me not smoking. So pretty good, I would say. And that's all I've got for you right now. Yo, it is um, uh, quarter past five on Tuesday the 10th of January. I did this earlier. I, um, I was in my bedroom tidying up and I accidentally whacked my head off a shelf. So that's not good. Um, it is Shay and I's six month anniversary today, so we are going to ZZ for pizza later. Um, in about an hour, I need to leave, so I'm gonna go off and do that. Um, my sleep's all over the place, so I didn't get to sleep till about 6 a.m. this morning and woke up just as the sun was setting. So I think she's coming back to mine later, but then I might crack on and do some more stuff after she goes to bed, we will see. Um, and then she's just gonna get up and leave in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully she'll give me a kiss before she leaves. I'm currently reading The Writer in Disguise by Alan Bennett. I've almost finished it now. I have like that much left to go. Uh, it's all right, it's like 3.5 out of five. I had a particularly controversial um, TV play that was made and I mean, I understand why it was controversial in 1978. Maybe today it wouldn't be so much so. Um, which is ironic because people say that today is the snowflake generation, but uh, it broke the fourth wall, you see, and mm, don't do that. Um, I think that's all I've got for you, to be honest. I'm just going to do a bit of filming and a bit of editing now to set myself up for later, and uh, we'll see. Hello and greetings. I'm here in my hoodie because it's cold. Um, it is currently about half seven on Wednesday the 11th of January. All going well. Um, I finished reading, uh, what was it, The Writer in Disguise by Alan Bennett, which was like 3.5 out of 5. I'm currently reading The Complete Beyond the Fringe by Alan Bennett, Peter Cook, Jonathan Miller and Dudley Moore, um, which is the book, basically Beyond the Fringe was a show they did back in the early 60s, and this is like the definitive script of that. It's actually really cool, they brought it together from a variety of different sources, and they even got the submission that went to the Lord Chamberlain's office for like a censorship check. Um, but yeah, it's on course for 4 out of 5. I will probably finish this tonight, and then I think next I'm going to read A Christmas Carol, uh, but it's the graphic novel version of it by Charles Dickens. Um, so that's very exciting. Uh, went out for dinner yesterday, went to ZZ with Shay. So I had a vegan pizza with like aubergine and tomatoes. Shay had pepperoni pizza, we shared some uh, sweet potato fries. It was very nice. Came back here and we watched Tremors 2, which was surprisingly, I quite liked it. I don't know what Shay thought about it because we fell asleep afterwards, but I quite liked it. It was kind of terrible, but in a good way. Um, yeah, and then we got had like a relatively early night's sleep and then slept a lot actually. And then watched some Always Sunny earlier. Uh, Shay headed back to hers earlier. I came back here and I've just been working ever since. Um, doing my new method at the moment, which is like, uh, I do all the productivity stuff that I need to do on my main computer first. Because then I can just go and chill on my bed and watch some Netflix. So that's what I'm going to do later on. I'm going to watch I Am A Murderer or I Am A Killer or whatever it was called. And to do some uh, do some work lying on bed with, with Biggie there with me. So that is the plan. Oh, well, my head's okay. There you go. There's where I, where I hit it. Hello everybody, it's me. It's currently 25 past 9 on Thursday the 12th of January. Uh, I had a call with, uh, a Q&A call with one of my clients earlier, so that went okay. Uh, I was up like until about 6, 7am this morning. Um, I finished off watching I Am A Killer on Netflix and then I couldn't sleep. 
Uh, and then when I finally woke up, it was because my cleaner was here. So I let my cleaner in and then kind of got back to work and I've been cracking on ever since. I need to try and sleep okay tonight because I have a dentist appointment at half 12 tomorrow for a checkup, which I'm not looking forward to. I also don't really know how I'm gonna pay for it because I don't have any money. Um, I'm currently over my maximum overdraft by about £200, although on the plus side I did pay my tax bill, which was due at the end of this month. Uh, the reason I'm over my overdraft is for my mortgage though, so kind of need to pay that soon. So I'm hoping some money comes my way. I have some clients who are due to pay me, they just haven't paid me, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, uh, I finished reading A Christmas Carol, the graphic novel by Charles Dickens. That was a four out of five. I am now currently reading Twas the Fright Before Christmas in Deathlyhem, an anthology of holiday horrors for charity, edited by Michael J. Evans and Harrison Graves. Now, I will say I'm picking this up because I have a story in it. My story, Black Solstice, is in this. Uh, so far, I've only read the first story, which was called The Fine Print by Janet Alcorn about, like, a... Uh, the devil making a deal with somebody basically um and that was really good so if the rest of them are of that same quality it's going to be a four out of five but we will see and i think that's all i've got for you i'm gonna oh i've done most of my housework now because obviously my cleaner's been around and i've been pottering about as well the only thing i have left to do now is i need to um put up some nails in the kitchen because i'm going to get rid of my mug tree and hang my mugs off the wall um because then that gives me more space on my side to do food prep and stuff so yes Hello everybody, it is five to, n five to nine on Friday the 13th of January 2023. Um, my head, ah, catch just jumped on my lap with his claws out. Hi Biggie, that's rare for you. He doesn't normally come and sit on my lap. You could at least have done it when I didn't have my legs crossed. I can't believe this. Look at this. What's happening Biggie? You'd never sit on my lap. He was giving me evils earlier as well. Okay, well, we'll vlog together, shall we, Biggie? Um, yes, it is the Art Centre open mic tonight, but I am not going because I can't be bothered and I have no money. I went to my dentist appointment earlier. They said I need to go back in February for a hygienist appointment and to have a filling done. And then also at some point over the next few years, I'm probably going to need to go there to um, get an implant put in, but that's going to take six to nine months and cost two grand. Um, but... Luckily, I don't need that right away, so yes, but that's something to think about for the future. I had a client call this afternoon as well. I actually slept okay last night. I um, went to bed at a fairly normal time. I started watching the Hatchet Wielding Hitchhiker on Netflix and then fell asleep, so probably going to finish that later and go back through and do some more work in the bedroom. Uh, we have little cuddles with Biggie as well. I can't believe he's still sitting on me. Very unusual. I've never done that before. Huh? And um, yeah. That's it, really. Um, I'm still reading Twas the, Night, Night, Twas the Fright Before Christmas in Deathlyhem. Um, still on for a solid, solid four out of five. I'm just over, well, I'm about two thirds of the way through now. I'm really enjoying it. Um, the only couple of stories I haven't really liked were the ones that used internal rhyming. And I, I understand why they did it, because they're trying to be like a Christmas poem. But I just didn't think it really worked in the context of those stories. He's off, he's gone. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty good collection so far. There's been some really nice horror. The bit where I just, just stopped reading that was uh, somebody got hot wax poured into their eye. Oh, this is another thing he's been doing. This here is, uh, this is the frame for the jigsaw that Shay and I are working on, um, which you've got a cat on it. And uh, he's been helping us to peel it, haven't you, Biggie? Do you want me to move this? You can probably peel it a bit better if I move that. Yeah. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I think up next I'm going to read Haunted Yuletide, uh, edited by Jay and Julie Barnson, which was a gift to me from Jana. So shout out to Jana, Jana Brown. Uh, Jana Ray, if you want to check out her books. Oh yeah, my clock started beeping in here on the hour. I don't know why. I don't know how I set it to do that, but I'm happy with that. I think that's all I got for you. I don't know what's planned for this weekend. My cleaner came round yesterday, so everything's nice and clean now. And I made a stir fry earlier. I'll show you my stir fry, actually. This is the remnants of it. Uh, I already had one bowl and yeah, then I, I got full, but I'm going to eat that second bowl soon. 
And I think that's what, that's it. Hello everybody! It is currently about 25 past 6 on Saturday the 14th of January. Um, what is new? Well I finished reading Twas the, Night, Twas the Fright Before Christmas in Deathlyhem, edited by Michael J. Evans and Harrison Graves. That was a strong 4 out of 5, although remember I'm biased because I do have a story in it. But uh, yeah, full review of that coming soon. Really enjoyed, very spooky. And I'm now following that up with Haunted Yuletide, edited by Jay and Julie Barnson. So I believe this is the last of my Christmas theme books, at least for now. So uh, once I read this, I'm probably going to go back to Herman Hesse and read The Journey to the East. Last night, I spent a lot of time just lying on my bed, um, being productive. I did a lot of uh, writing in my work in progress, Grebo's. It's now about 59,000 words. And the end is in sight. I think it's going to be between 70 and 80,000, give or take a little bit. I'm actually currently writing, like one of the most poignant scenes where one of the characters is involved in a car accident. Um, yeah, and this is based on like my childhood growing up in Tamworth in the British Midlands. To be honest, I don't think it's my best work, but at this point I just want to finish it, and as I say, I'm getting pretty close. So once I finish writing that, I'm probably going to start writing Lightfold book number five, which I believe I have planned out, but I'll have to check. Because if not, I guess I need to plan that out quickly. I also have in my head I want to write a novel about a cam girl. Um, and basically all of the, um, like all the chapters, it's going to be her journal entries and like only fans, except I'm probably going to call it lonely fans. Um, so, and that hopefully, I'm going to hopefully submit to Clash Books because it seems like their kind of thing. But we will see that's sort of future stuff. Uh, anyway, Haunted Yuletide, I'm only on the first story, but it's, it's shaping up pretty nicely so far. Um, I'm off to go and do a little bit more work, a little bit of film editing, and then again I will probably head over back into my bedroom later on to lie on my bed and to um, do like timed work where I'm on a timer basically. And I sit there and do that on my laptop while watching Netflix. I've been watching, I watched Killer Sally yesterday, which was very good. I watched uh, The Mumbai Mafia, which was just okay. And I'm now watching uh, the one about Bernie Madoff, I can't remember what it's called. I was on episode 2 of that last night when I finally fell asleep. Fell asleep about 6am, woke up at about 4pm. Also did some Wii because my Wii adapter to turn it into an HDMI adapter thingy. That had broken so I had to order another one and that finally came yesterday. So I was able to play some Wii before bed. Currently finishing unlocking stuff on Mario Party 8 and getting all of the gold medals on the Wii Sports training. I have 5 out of 15 so far. Oh, I'm tired as well, I could do with another coffee. <laughs> Yo, um, it is 10 past 9 on Sunday the 15th of January. Um, I'm still reading Haunted Yuletide, it's still quite good. We've got to a few ones with rhyming in now though, which wasn't as good. I don't know, I just don't find it works that well with horror, really. Um, or when it does work, it has to be done well, and I think it kind of miss, missed, the, missed the mark there. Um, but I am enjoying that. Next up, I'm going to read The Journey to the East by Herman Hess. Um, I'm currently cracking on with being productive. I'm actually at a point where I've almost done everything now. I have a little bit of filming to do. I have some more timed client work, but only for one client. I have 45 minutes left owed. Everything resets at midnight tonight, um, and I'll be able to start earning for my hourly clients who will get a certain amount a week. So I'm kind of trying to finish everything before then, so I can have at least like an hour where it's like I actually have no work to do. Um, I've been working on my own writing as well. I got uh, Grebo's is up to about 63,000 words now and I'm really like you know I'm in the last 10% pretty much I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna hit 70k I don't think it's gonna hit 80k but we'll see with, with rewrites and stuff it may well do um, and that's where I'm at I was up till like 6 7 a.m. this morning working watching some documentaries I watched Pepsi where's my jet which was very good um, and I watched something about uh, earthquakes in Haiti which was interesting because they were speaking French uh, patois so it's a bit like the French equivalent of how Jamaicans speak English. Um, so it was cool that I understood it, bearing in mind that they weren't really speaking French. I mean, they were, but they also kind of weren't. So that was cool. And yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, but as always, I'm gonna love you and leave you at the end of this week. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.